Job Demands and Resources Model. What is stress? Stress is a psychophysical condition due to a huge quantity of emotional, cognitive and social tasks perceived by the person as excessive. The stressful condition could lead to several disturbs as psychological as physical, such as depression or the immune system's weakening. There are several stressful agents and they could either be positive, such as the retirement, which is a positive event but with a strong burden of stress caused by the change of life, or negative, such as a failure or an achieved work objective. Given the fact that stress factor exists, Bakker and Demeruti in 2001 theorized the job demands and resources model, also called JDR model. In the last 20 years, it has been continuously studied and improved. The main objective of this model is to better wellness and job performance of the workers, preventing burnout. Let's imagine the JDR model as a balance, whose objective is to be in perfect equilibrium. On the one side, we have the job demands, while on the other one, we have the resources that are given to accomplish those demands. On the side of job demands belongs all the physical, social and organizational aspects that ask for both physical and cognitive strain in the work environment. One example could be the work pressure or the work environment in itself. Job demands can be perceived critically if there is a gap between demands and resources. Keep on mind this aspect of perception, we're going to talk about it soon later. On the other side, on the job resources plate, belong all those physical, social, organizational aspects that help the achievement of the goals, both personal and of the company, such as the work safety or the career opportunity, but also interpersonal relationship collective support and a good teamwork. The main purpose of the model is to avoid a conflict between job demands and job resources that could provoke a strong imbalance among the parts. This imbalance could lead to a serious both health and personal problems. So, it seems to be necessary to consider these two aspects as an essential duo. But why? Because job demands increase the strain with negative results on workers' health, and in some cases, workers could develop burnout syndrome. On the other hand, job resources increase motivation that leads to better final results. We could say that job demands and job resources influence each other. An elevated quantity of demands could reduce motivation and autonomy. In the same way, elevated resources could decrease the strain and the demands difficulties. Can some job demands be heavier than others? Actually, no. Job demands are perceived differently from person to person. For example, Max could perceive the demand of working in a team as a source of stress and competition. Tom, on the contrary, could embrace the work team as an occasion and a way of reciprocal improvement. What is central in the job demands resources model is not to focus on demands that are perceived negative, because a dissenting approach could lead to other contradictory results. It's very important balancing the negativity perception of demands with strong job resources.
In this way, we could have the right equilibrium of the part, providing work experience in the best condition and potentialities possible.